antipsychotics and sedatives or, or psychotropics in long-term care, I think, um, are used as a, a crutch. Ashley Plummer has worked in nursing facilities for over a decade. She's frequently seen antipsychotic drugs used to control residents. It's kind of do you to treat a person with an antipsychotic to get them to be quiet and do what they're told, or do you listen to them and see what the behavior is about? You know, I think most of the time it's related to a need. It's a need that's not met, and those behaviors are just a, a, a natural, instinctual cry for help that we're sedating. You know, dementia is already so hard. You already lose those memories. You lose kind of that personality that you've always had. But on top of that, throw, you know, a, a few Seroquels on that, and then you're just drooling. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's taking away even your right to be upset about your disease process. It's, it's taking away your right to mourn what you're going through. It comes from, like the basic infrastructure of the, the facilities that we have. I think it, it's just the way they're built. They're built to take care of a lot of people with not very many people, you know, and a lot of these are corporations and they're profiting off, you know, and, and they push for cutting hours, no more overtime, this and that. And with that, I think it's directly correlated with some of the antipsychotic use 